Hello YouTubers, I have got the Toshiba S30 and I'm doing this as a test shot because I'm going to do the slow motion in a minute and a little bit of time lapse and I wanted to show you what the difference was between the 720p 30 frames and the, tire and the slow motion video. Um, now I think what I'll do is I'll video the tree because the wind is making it move around. Um, you may not be able to see it very well now, but when I put the slow motion on, you will be able to see it. So, now what I'm going to do is put the slow motion on and then put the time lapse on. Okie dokie. So, okay, I did the slow motion and the time lapse. Now, the time lapse you can record in any setting, which is really cool. But, the slow motion, for some reason, records only in QVGA. And it's zoomed in QVGA, for some reason. I did have a look on the Toshiba website, and also in the manual, and... It doesn't give you any indication of whether the QVGA can be changed or why it's QVGA or what. So basically, if you're getting this camera for slow motion, you've got to take into consideration that when you do the slow motion, it is quite zoomed in. And the slow motion, as you've seen on the video, isn't really that great and it's in QVGA resolution. If you're expecting to get slow motion in HD, then you're going to be disappointed. I don't know why they've done it that way. Um, because you can use the time lapse in any of the resolution settings, but you can't with the slow motion, which is a little bit disappointing. I mean, I've the two LG phones that I've had, the slow motion option that you get on that, and even on the Samsung, you can do it in the VGA setting. So why the Toshiba can't do slow motion in the normal HD settings, I don't know. You know, that is a little bit of a disappointment. So there you go. That's my slow motion and time lapse test. Like I said before, if you're getting this camera to do slow motion video, then I think you might be a little bit disappointed. But the time lapse is really good. I would say that in any kind of software that you use, you can slow down the video. So you could take normal video footage and then just slow it down. Um, this has motion detection which is really groovy and it also works in Windows Movie Maker in the Windows 7 version so that's really groovy as well. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this test and if you've got any questions please ask away. Okay that's enough from me, hope you're having a good day and I'll do some more later on. Bye bye for now. Thank you.